thing being said and done, I think that we forecast about 160,000 people a day. 40 minutes of your travel time, and you're gonna be closer to your destination, and you're gonna be going home faster to your children. digging 140 to 160 feet below ground all along Park Avenue. In fact, we came off the 63rd Street Tunnel and we turned south, we actually made the left turn on the Park Avenue and uh, we have dug all the way here. We were able to do it in a stealth fashion. Unlike 2nd Avenue, that stealth eluded me totally, uh, here, we actually are able to do it without basically disturbing uh, uh, the peace and quiet of the people who enjoy uh, the Grand Central. And what we are doing now, we are basically preparing it for the next 100 years. We expect to have uh, a, a station and a concourse that will be worthy of uh, uh, the Grand Central overall. And uh, we're looking forward to be able to uh, actually you see the passengers going through here. We have done all of that stuff while people here have been able to live normally. And, and we have done that digging under the most expensive real estate that you can find in New York. There is a tremendous amount of, of this type of tunneling going on in, in China. And, and I think that we are much more careful in making sure that we are safe. We are constantly aiming to make sure that we're going to do the job in a safe manner and we want to make sure that we're going to finish on time. We need to actually make sure that New York remains competitive on the, on the world stage in terms as a city that will, these projects are actually going to uh, lead to that.